How do I write character descriptions? I've been writing casually for a while now, and one thing I've always noticed is that I always seem to forget to include descriptions in my writing of what my characters actually look like. It seems I'm always used to having an idea of their appearances in my head while, while writing that I f often forget to include it on the page. Does anyone have any advice on how to incorporate character descriptions without disrupting the flow of my prose. So let's just grab that. Let's say we wanted to add more character description to this. I think something important, uh, so it's mentioned in here, uh, incorporate character descriptions without disrupting the flow of my prose. So, oh, it was just like shoved in. If it was just, Seth brought into a plane just outside the city. Seth wore a sword on his hip and a belt crossing his torso to his shoulder and a hat at a crooked angle. Then we're just like stopping everything. But that, now we're just going to dump some information on you of uh, what they look like and what, they've, what they're wearing or something. But if it was more like, um, so I'd probably not, say Seth brought them to a plane out just outside the city, but more like they stood on a cliff top. Uh, Seth and the kids stood on the cliff top. Uh, yeah, so Seth and the kids stood on the cliff top. The ocean winds clanging, clanging Seth's sword against the brass buttons on his trousers. So we're getting some description of what Seth looks like. Uh, that he's got swords and these brass buttons, but we're not stopping to do so. We're we're making it part of describing the scene in general, so we can see this, we can visualize it. It has like um, like more of a tactile sensory thing with like the sound of the sword. Yeah, and maybe Nim. Nim rocked back and forth on his heels, blue eyes glinting in the morning sun. So this indicates the excitement and also like just plants that he has blue eyes, but it is relevant because it's glinting in the morning sun, which is relevant to the whole scene in general and also speaks to the idea of him being excited. I guess the main thing is make it relevant to what is actually happening is the main thing I'd say. And then Jackie stared intently at her uncle, cl hands clasped in front of her, messy hair bobbing and weaving in the, in the breeze. So again, we're kind of setting up the scene and it has to do with the, the scene has got this breeze and this wind going on. So um, we're not just saying she has messy hair, but her messy hair is doing something which affects how we see the scene and how the, the tone of the scene. And Jackie's emotion is kind of reflected in the the kind of broiling of her hair. One piece of advice I've given before is to pick a particular detail about a given character and make that make that the the callback to that character. So maybe uh, Jackie's main thing is her crazy hair. So then each time we see Jackie in the story, we have the messy hair described. What does her messy hair look like today? Um, and that will remind us of, oh yeah, Jackie's the, the kid with the messy hair. Uh, she was in these other scenes with her messy hair and stuff like that. And you don't it's it's like a use, useful visual reminder to the reader to remember who this character is as opposed to names which aren't like a visual thing they're just like remember these names yeah so that can help readers readers remember the characters as well cool thanks for watching um i yeah so i i stream pretty much every weekday in the morning uk time giving advice 
for writers giving feedback live and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can drop me a DM if you'd like me to do that for you, or you have a topic that you'd like covered in the future. You can find me on at twitter.com slash tap Giles writes, and you can go to youtube.com and search for tap writes for videos which are like condensed clips of uh, these streams with tips and stuff and i'll see you around cheers